In this video, I'm gonna spend 100 days in Ark as a complete noob. That co-op footage was from a test run, so I'm actually about to enter the dinosaur world alone. Can I build an actual base and tame any dinosaurs, or will I give up after dying too much? That's actually bullshit! But before I fight some dinosaurs, let me tell you, it's way more fun to fight dinosaurs with your friends, as you saw in the intro. <laughs> Which brings us to today's sponsor, Indifferent Broccoli Server Hosting. But Adrian, what if I want to feed my dodo bird when Jimmy isn't on? Well, that's why you use an Indifferent Broccoli Server, because the world is always going to be up and you can log in 24-7. They host servers for not only Ark, but for Minecraft, Terraria, and more. I'm going to be playing on one of these servers, and we even customize the settings so that the days would go faster. All it takes is 15 minutes to set up a server, and even better, if you use my link down in the description, there's a two-day free trial, so just check it out. And finally, of course, we're going to end it with a haiku. Game server hosting, fast RAM, high-speed internet, eat lag for breakfast. And different broccoli server hosting. But anyway, enough of me talking, here's the video. Our journey begins on day 55 of the server. I created a character with the ideal physique of a human in mind, and I proceeded to wake up in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of big animals. I learned some recipes called engrams that you can acquire after leveling up, and I made some primitive tools. I got some thatch, rocks, and I continued leveling up. I walked around the area, and I saw this dinosaur raptor looking thing, so I retreated back into the woods, because if you can't see them, well, they can't see you. While in the woods, I couldn't see anything. I tried to knock out this dinosaur called a parasaur, because you can apparently tame them by Doing that, but I broke my leg. I killed some incredibly strong prehistoric dinosaur birds and retreated back into the forest to make a base. There was another dinosaur that showed and it shot poison at me, but with some razzle dazzle and a good old rock to the head, I knocked the lizard out. This dinosaur was a dilphosaur, and after knocking it out, I was able to enslave, I mean tame it. I started building a base and I put torches around the area to see. Eventually, night struck, but I still couldn't see anything. It also began raining and I totally didn't shrivel like a rat. Eventually, the sun came up and I made a cozy sleeping bag. I went down to the coast to dip my feet in the water and some prehistoric piranhas started biting my ankles. I killed some stuff, tried to tame some stuff, but anyway, I died to these freaking piranhas, but I was able to kill the damn fish because I got, you know, kind of annoyed, and I walked home all cold and injured. I didn't really know how to progress, so I thought that mining for experience was a viable way to level up, right? I also enslaved, I mean tamed, a turtle. So that was nice. I tried again to tame a parasaur, but these things freaking kept running away. But then I learned of something crazy good. It was this legendary device to capture children, I mean dinosaurs, and it was called a bola. With these excellent devices, I was able to immobilize and tame two parasaurs, and I took these homies home with me and I made a parasaur saddle. I got on this bad boy, and now we have movement. With these guys, I got some thatch, and I started building some stuff with the thatch and the parasaurs. I used my navigational skills, and I got lost in the forest, so I retreated back home. Then at home, I used some wood to make these huge spikes, and these look really awesome. Awesome, and I'm sure these are gonna be useful in the future. Hey, it's me from the future. They weren't. On day 100 to 104 of the server, I made something called a mortar and pestle, and <laughs> I have no idea what to do with this thing. I learned the recipe for some narcotics, but I still didn't know what this does. I killed some stuff and I made some durable armor and I cooked some gourmet food. One of the parasaurs I actually tamed was killed by something and that made me pretty sad, but I spent some time building and gathering wood and was leveling up. I also may or may not have tried building an irrigation system that defied gravity and failed. Yeah, that didn't happen. I saw this beaver dam and I opened it and there was a ton of wood. But before I could even take any of it, the beaver itself got upset and killed me. I went back home and I made some boxes for some storage and also discovered something called tranquilizer arrows. These are gonna help me enslave, I mean tame, more dinosaurs. The first test subject that I found was this skinny boy. After a few non-lethal injections, I knocked out this iguanodon and I was able to tame it. On day 203 and 206 of the server, I made some lovely arrows and I continued to gathering some berries. Also, for some reason today, it was very, very hot, so I went down to the coast to cool myself down and enjoy the sand. But of course, some damn seagulls decided to attack me. But then while exploring at night with my iguanodon and parasaur, something unexpected happened. Both of my dinosaurs actually died, and I went to investigate and I saw this. Being upset, I threw all that I had at this unknown dinosaur. I almost died multiple times, but finally I was able to kill it. This thing was called the Therizinosaur, and it had wiped out my entire family, and I was never going to forget it. I started limping back home, and I felt defeated. I was also completely lost. I basically lost all of the tames that I had and most of my stuff. I almost died to some bugs, but eventually I did die. But before completely giving up, I tried to make a furnace and something called the smithy. Apparently in the smithy thing, there was a lot of crazy blueprints for some actual tools and weapons, and with it, I crafted my first metal pickaxe. On day 210 to 214, I got a supply drop, and I started getting hide, wood, and stone. I was grinding out some stuff at the beach for some experience, and I tried to tame a pterodactyl. I was eventually able to knock it out, and I began feeding in narcotics. While this was happening though, the damn seagulls were starting to annoy me again. But it was fine because eventually we secured the pterodactyl. I wasn't able to ride it yet because I didn't have a saddle, but I was feeling really great. And with this victory, I died to a triceratops, aka a trike. I totally didn't get upset, so I went down to the coast and I tried to tame this thing. And this is what happened. 
It's already asleep. Basically what happened is the narcotics that I already shot into the dinosaur actually worked and all I had to do was just tame it. So yeah, nice. I spent some time getting some hide for the trike saddle and eventually, bam. At this point, I felt great. I know this is probably slow progress to you guys and I'm definitely triggering a lot of veterans, but learning and playing this game in real time was awesome. I started getting more resources to build and then I crafted a metal axe. On day 241 to 246 of the server, I began my day with killing some things to try to level up. I was eventually able to level up to get actual decent armor called chitin armor. Like I said, I'm pretty proud of my progress. I also crafted a crossbow and this thing was insanely good. I used this power to knock out three triceratops. I killed two of them because I wanted to make a saddle for my pterodon, but actually the one that I tamed also died. So its body is also going to go to the saddle. But Adrian, isn't that kind of brutal, man? Hey, I don't think you understand. I'm in the middle of the wilderness here. I gotta use everything at my disposal. I got the materials and I made the saddle. I also ate poop. I ate it? I never thought I would ever say that. And now we have flight. I flew around and I saw some scary looking dinosaurs. And in my case, knowledge is not on my side. I started getting some metal and I began constructing our first gun. That's right a gun. I made a simple pistol and I tried using it with some bullets and I'm not gonna lie, it sucks. At least for me, I prefer using the crossbow. I found Apache for the first time and I wanted to tame it. I knocked it out and while it was taming, I made the saddle, but then it died. And then as night started to strike, I saw another one of those things, those monsters. It was a Therizinosaur again, and I saw this as an opportunity. I had made a lot of technological progress and I wondered if I could actually tame this monster now. I crafted a metal trap and I prepared the narcotics. I went to the coast and set it up. This was gonna be the plan. I had a metal trap large enough to trap the Therizinosaur. All I had to do was set it and then shoot that there is any sort to bait it in the trap and hopefully I can tame it. This is what happened. I'm supposed to set it up? All right, that was an honest mistake, but after that, this was definitely gonna work as long as it goes in the trap. Here we go. Well, shit. On day 512 to 515 of the server, I logged back on and I couldn't find my pterodactyl. But eventually, I did find him flying around in the trees. I started exploring because I was once again lost on what to do. I ran into this future-looking dinosaur called a Tech Parasaur, and I actually tamed one near my house and found out there was a huge metal deposit at the top of the hill. I began mining it and smelting it. The next thing I wanted to make was called a Fabricator. This thing will let me create even more crazier things, like harnessing the power of electricity. That's right, I'm about to become the next Thomas Edison. I started flying towards the mountain in search for some crystal and pass an entire mountain, but I flew back and I could only carry a little bit because my fat ass weighed so much. But back at home, I was finally able to make this fabricator. I also killed this big boy. On day 540 to 544 of the server, I needed more levels, so I made more arrows. This was also the time I began searching for another flying mount. Apparently, there was another flying mount called the Argentavis, and I wanted it, even though I had no idea what it looks like or what it does. While traveling, I kept getting jump scared by non hostile animals, and eventually it turned nighttime and I started flying towards this green arc looking thing. I looked around, but I quickly left and I kept flying. I mined some metal and I took off to home. I started smelting some of that metal and I saw a bunch of raptors and even an alpha raptor. I was actually able to tame some of these raptors and I made a raptor saddle and I was riding him around. Back at home, I began construction of a long neck rifle and I started making some more advanced things. I started making electronics, oil, a generator, and I wanted to start using electricity, but I need crystals for that. On day 615 to 619 of the server, my pterodactyl died because I think it starved to death because I was not on for like 100 days, so I have to tame another one. I began taming another pterodactyl and while I was taming, I started making a bunch of bullets trying to make some tranquilizer bullets or whatever they're called. After I tamed the pterodactyl, I named it Peter and I took Peter to the mountains to get Get some more crystals and after getting as much as I can, I began going back home. With these crystals, we made a lamp post and an outlet and now I just needed some oil and this would totally work. Trust me, I am a certified genius. Oh look, genius I am. I started flying around and while exploring, I saw this crazy huge bird in the sky. Hi. On day 911 to 919, some crazy crap just happened today. I began first by making the longest journey that I was ever going to make in this playthrough. I started flying to the far northeastern mountains to find some obsidian. I took a pit stop at the Green Arc, and while there, Peter wouldn't come down and I almost died. But anyway, I finally reached the mountains and I found the obsidian I wanted. But while also there, I found a bunch of new dinosaurs that I actually wanted to have. I saw a saber toothed tiger looking thing, this roly poly looking thing, and a freaking Argentavis that I was talking about. With this obsidian I got, I went back home and I made some polymer. I also started crafting a bunch of 
of wooden rafts for some experience, and with this experience, I could finally make flak armor. The only thing was that the weight was a problem, so I couldn't really wear it. Now, I actually had one goal in mind to finish my playthrough, if I can actually do it. I started making more rafts, and while leveling up, I started making a plan to tame the monster that killed my family before. I really wanted to tame a Therizinosaur. I knew that I needed something stronger in order to knock it out and keep it immobilized. So, I started getting a ton of metal and began making a bunch of bear traps and darts. And then, my plan began. I placed a bunch of traps down, and before I knew it, it failed. Why is there two? There was another Therizinosaur in the area, and it killed me, and I died. I died. I died a lot. That's actually bullshit. But I didn't give up. Eventually, I was able to knock out a level one Therizinosaur. And while this was happening, everything began attacking us. I was attacked by a big boy, and it was absolutely intense trying to keep this chicken dinosaur asleep. And I needed a ton of narcotics and narco berries. It took several, several days, and I made a ton of narcotics, and I even tamed a parasaur to help me get more narco berries. It took days and days, but finally, I was actually able to tame one. And this is what happened. Please don't kill Oh my god, I'm about to lose it. It's gonna die. Oh it's gonna die. The Therizinosaur that took me days to tame died in under 10 seconds. I hate this game. On day 1158 to 1160, I had to restart everything. I tried to tame another trike, but that went bad. I ended up taming another dinosaur instead, which was a dodo, because I needed to learn how to make kibble, because this would apparently make taming dinosaurs so much more easier. I also started trying to make a greenhouse, and I tamed another trike. I also got chased by a T-Rex. But in my last few days of playing on the server, which was day 1229 to 1232, I knocked out a dinosaur called a Carno, which is actually kind of cute. This thing was actually pretty strong, and while I was taming it, I knocked out another Carno, but it was a way lower level so I didn't really care about it. While there, I was actually attacked by a dinosaur that I never saw and I was knocked out. I actually ended up dying to these things and they were called Trudons. But since it was nighttime, I couldn't get my stuff back because it was so dark. So I ended up having to turn up my gamma and I'm pretty sure you can't see that in the footage so I'll just turn up the brightness for the footage and I actually ended up getting my stuff back and I tamed the lower level Carno and I named them Bobby. I took Bobby back home and I went to check up on my higher level Carno and back in the morning. I went back home with Bobby and I left him there and I went to go check on the higher level Carno that I knocked out. I was pretty excited for this guy. He was like level 30 something maybe. And while walking there, I saw that a Therizinosaur was bloody, but I didn't know why until I realized that the white Carno was missing. I absolutely hate this game. I went back home to Bobby and I got him a saddle. Bobby doesn't have any arms, but that's perfectly fine. That night, I began clearing out the forest and I made a ton of narcotics. I encountered more Trudons, but it was okay because of Bobby. I then tried taming a Pterodactyl, but a T-Rex came out of nowhere and after it ate it, that, that's pretty much it. I'm done playing. I know I didn't get far at all, but honestly, this was really fun. If you guys want me to do a full 100 days playthrough, then leave a like and a comment and I'll consider it. And make sure you guys check that description for that spicy server link, because honestly, playing with friends was so much more fun. And uh, yeah.